it's a special place. You feel connected. You're at the place that everything centers around. It was very emotional for me. It's like to be on another planet. The trip itself was a thrill, just from the standpoint of aviation. I've never been on anything where the plane lands on skis. That was a dream since I was a little kid. The feeling I got when I arrived at the South Pole when the door opened was just sheer amazement. Looking when you get out and seeing the radio telescopes in the most cutting edge things on the planet. The work that's going on there is breaking new ground. It's important, very important work. We were invited to visit the South Pole Station. It was very interesting. I felt like I would be in Star Trek. This is our uh, greenhouse. It's our only source of fresh food in the winter. They had everything. They had a gym, they had a cinema. Incredible. An amazing place. Being at the South Pole where the pole's actually at, where they have the ball right there, all the flags of the nation states who signed the treaty, incredible. It's incredible to be at the South Pole. I never had this feeling before. For me, one of the best parts was to see the elation and all the people that were there. Thank you. You know, I think it's something that a lot of people have been dreaming about. The uh, spherical ball is actually a ceremonial pole, but because we're on a glacier here, any pole you put in the ground actually moves over the course of the year. So what we have over at the American flag is what we call the real pole. Every year they survey that to make sure it's at 90 degrees south. It was a historic moment to stand at the pole and, and just reflect about the hardships that the first people that got there went through just to stand there and to say they'd been there and to tell people what it was like. The exact spot where all the longitudinal lines touch, touch the earth. I just felt very fortunate to be there. I never thought I would ever make it there. It was a dream come true.